Welcome to the Dyslexia Training Institute. Uh, my name is Dr. Kelly Sandman Hurley, and I'm one of the co founders of the Dyslexia Training Institute. And I'm Tracy Black Florensky, the other co founder of the Dyslexia Training Institute. And we're very happy to have you here today. What we're going to do is put you through a simulation, a dyslexia simulation, so that you can get a little bit of an idea of what it feels like to be a student with dyslexia in a school classroom. And so our job is to make you a little bit uncomfortable. Um, a little bit frustrated, a little bit nervous, and just give you a little bit more empathy of what it feels like to be to have dyslexia in a classroom. In second grade, when I was reading some like Jack and Annie book, I I saw some other kids and they were reading some like super big books like this thick. I was like, how come they can read that? And it wasn't just the person right next to me. I saw a lot. I saw like one third of the classroom was all that was the big of book. I felt like, okay, maybe in next year I'll be able to read the books like that. Then the next year came and I didn't be and I wasn't be able to read the books like that. Like thick. What we're going to be doing is working on reading comprehension. We're going to be reading two articles. So if you can take out article number two from your folder, and you'll notice down the right-hand side, there's a little key. We've changed it a little bit to make it a little more difficult to decode the words. You are going to be given two and a half minutes, again, to read the article. There is no stopping in that two and a half minutes. You must continue reading the entire two and a half minutes. Go ahead and begin. Okay, how many of you would like this to end? Our two and a half minutes is up. Okay, so I'm going to be asking you some comprehension questions. Again, are you, is everybody ready to answer some comprehension questions? Sorry. <laughs> what is the main topic of this article? Stress. 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 Stress in the brain. Is it a good article for this activity? Yes. I picked it specifically because... I thought it was perfect. <laughs> yes. When researchers gave animals lots of excess stress, what did they notice about their brains? I couldn't tell you. I don't think no. we got that far. You didn't get that far? No. I was working so hard to figure out what yeah. the words said. That this was I towards the beginning of the article. I don't understand what this article is about. Oh. Well, this was towards the beginning of the article, so you should be able to answer that one. No? Anybody? No. How many of you read approximately the same number of words in this article as you did the first article? Not even close. Not even close. Why not? I'm trying to figure everything out as I was reading, I'm trying to replace the letters. Um, yeah. Made it really difficult. <laughs> I'm trying, okay. trying to literally guess what they were trying to yeah, say. Yeah, or skip You're over words. Okay. To try, yeah. So, how many of you um, were conscious of, felt conscious of what, what your peers were going to think of your paragraph? If, if you had to rate this on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being easy and 10 being very difficult, how many of you would rate it closer to 1? How many would rate it closer to 10? How many of you would want to keep writing if you had After experiencing five simulations in a row, I'm feeling like I am more understanding of what my son has to go through. I think that it would be completely overwhelming to have to go through the day and to struggle so hard just to do something that would be seemingly so easy for the people around me. All teachers should experience something like this because it really does put you in the spot. It really can be an eye-opener and I, I feel like every teacher should honestly have this experience.